The presenters of the Man Cave are styled by Edgars. What's up, peeps? I'm Lunga Shablala, and tonight on the Man Cave, we're gonna take you on a journey of power cars, epic fights, and gorgeous supermodels. And I'm Yanis Marin, and what Lunga is talking about is the fuel guzzling, tire ripping 4x4 challenge, where we put two of the top buckies in South Africa up against each other. The Toyota Hilux Legend 45 up against the Ford Ranger Wild Track. Then Yanis gets to hang out to the world drifting king at the Clarkson Hammond and May live show. And then it's on to fight night before we end it with our gorgeous guest of the week right here on the MCC. The Man Cave Review is brought to you by hippo.co.za. Compare prices and benefits from a range of SA insurance providers. SMS HIPPO to 43298 for car insurance quotes. This week's motoring segment is proudly brought to you by Sassel. Sassel, reaching new frontiers. I bring you the king. The master, the 2015 Toyota Hilux Legend 45. Three liter, four cylinder turbo diesel engine. 120 kilo, 343 newton meters of torque. Those are the numbers. When it comes to reliability, when it comes to reputation, there is no better name than the Toyota Hilux. Junior, you're about to be dethroned. Introducing my brand new 2015 Ford Ranger Wild Track, which is a 3.2 litre turbo diesel, and it basically beats your Toyota at everything. It's bigger, it's heavier, it's got more kilowatts, which means more power, it's got more torque, it's got more ground clearance, and in my eyes, I think she's a lot prettier. And to top things off, this is officially the number one selling bucky in South Africa. In fact, I stand to correct myself. This is the number one selling car in South Africa. Yanez, I will give it to you. You had one good year, but I've had 33 of those. One swallow does not make it spring, my friend. Okay, I can see that this is gonna be a very long day in the office. The only way we can settle this is to put these vehicles through the ultimate bucky test. When you look at it at first glance, you think to yourself, well, this is pretty basic, and you'd be right. Because this is a Bucky. It's not supposed to have all the big gadgets. It's supposed to be uncluttered. This car is about performance, and it does exactly that. The new Ford Ranger Wild Trek really is a beast when it comes to 4x4s. It's got everything you need. This car has got traction control, it's got hill assist, it's an automatic which is so much easier than a manual. If you're hitting the highway, you can simply slip this car into sports mode. There is only one way to settle the battle of the Buckies and that's to judge the off-road ability of these vehicles. We had Hobby Park at Kruger's Dope, and this is quite a challenging 4x4 track. The rules are very simple, it's one point per obstacle. Junior, may the best man win. I intend to. And we cleared it. Hold, oh, hold. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is where the wading depth of 800 millimeters with the Ford Ranger really comes into play. <laughs> and now it is just moving. Lunga, I have actually got a, a newfound respect for this Hilux. You know why? Why? Because your car was, it was at such an incredible disadvantage, simply because you were driving it. My only issue now is the fact that, guys, we don't have an actual winner, it's a tie. We haven't actually achieved that much. We should settle it by, remember the movie Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone, you weren't born yet, but we should, we should arm wrestle for the victory. Nah, no arm wrestling. I got a better idea. What? 
Lunga, this is the craziest thing you have ever thought of. Guys, whatever you do, please do not try this at home. But it's pretty cool, eh? Ever, ever. <laughs> I guess there's no winner here. That's a stalemate, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am so impressed by my Toyota Hilux Legend 45. On the day, everyone doubted it. I would have said common, but I have to say it's Kef because I definitely thought that I would smoke you in the tug of war and it was even. So yes, Kef. My car is Kef, but my only issue though is the high low range gears. Guys, those things get stuck every now and then, so please work on that. Okay, let's talk about the Ford Ranger wild track. I mean, you just have to look at this car. It's by far the sexiest bucky in the country without doubt. It's got great performance, great interior, and it sells more units in the Hilux. So South Africa agrees with me. You are a Kif bucky. How much would you be paying for insurance? Okay, so my car is worth 550,000 Rand. I went on to Hippo. I got various quotes, about 10 of them, the best price. For my profile, 1,100 Rand, which is really cheap. Mm -hmm. A lot cheaper than mine. My car is worth 510, and my profile, I get insurance for around 2,000. After the break, the much anticipated boxing match, and we also get to hang out with the king of drifting, the prodigy, Ken Block. Compared yet? You could save hundreds of Rands per month on your car insurance. SMS Hippo to 43298 for car insurance quotes. Peeps, we are giving away a Hisense Infinity H6 smartphone. It's got an Android operating system and a cool hand gesture selfie function. The question for this week is, who is joining us on the MCC? Hit us up on Twitter with your answer, followed by the hashtag 9 SA for the Hisense, and you could be a winner. For the past six months, Lunga, Siv and myself have been training so hard for our celebrity boxing match against the guys from Expresso. And finally, the day came and went. Check it out. Guys, it's finally fight night. Three months of hectic training. I'm ready for it. You and my brother, I'm coming after you. Yanez, you have no idea what's coming, brother. Nothing. I came up with a concept to improve the standard of boxing, amateur boxing in South Africa and I thought of what a better way to get celebrities involved. We've decided this year we're going to incorporate the Man Cave uh, versus Expresso. It's great because the numbers are pretty much three and three. We're expecting something phenomenal here tonight. Up, but he deserves the victory. 
all this. It was a very, very intense match. Lunga, very, very worthy opponent. Well done, man. Firstly, thank you for agreeing to do this. And I know that you put in a lot of training for this as well. It was a great match. We gave the people a good show, as I said to you. We must do, and hopefully we can do this again one time. Good luck to you. Introducing first, from Team Expresso, and representing Brown Peace Fight Camp. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Graham Richard! All right, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent, representing Team Mankane, as well as PFA. feelings knocking out your friend is not the best thing in the world but man cave that's one and there's one more to go so it's all up to your nest ladies and gentlemen it is my privilege and pleasure to introduce the final bout of the evening and introducing first representing team man cave as well as It's no joke watching this, man. Um, yo, no, I'm lost for words. Like, it takes a lot of balls to step out into that ring. You can hear my voice is gone there. Eh? I was supposed to be shouting for Espresso, but I'm telling you, I was shouting for Mad Cave, bro. You know what? I have to give it to you. And from the moment I stepped out there and I felt his first jab, I knew I was in trouble. The key thing is, I went out swinging. And as I threw a right, I don't know what happened, but it was lights out. So they call me the Man Cavian. This Man Cavian knows what it feels like be knocked out. I respect any man who steps into a ring because that is not something to be taken lightly. And uh, top for the top for the man cave guys are coming to the party as well. But unfortunately, you know, one's gonna walk away the winner and that's expressed so maybe. On the 12th of June this year, Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May performed their live show right here in Johannesburg at the Dome. And with them, they brought rally driver and king of kings when it comes to drifting, Ken Block. Rumor has it that you got a chance to meet him. I did, he was awesome, and I also got to do some drifting, not with him, with another drifter. So he wasn't in the car? No, he's Ken Block, he's famous. Not the same. Is the same, it's still drifting. Nope. It's still drifting, bro. Mm -mm. Check it out, it was super cool. Fast cars, drifting, boys toys, burnt rubber, this is the Clarkson, Hammond and May show. Now the question is, are they still show stoppers? Because their show actually got stopped. I've got a feeling you can't keep a good man down. Man Cavians behind me is an absolute beast. It's a 1967 Mustang. Now I'm from 1978. So this is where daddy feels at home. Okay, 
so for a person that doesn't really understand what drifting is, how does it work? What is it all about? It's an art of uh, cornering and interlinking while going sideways, blowing smoke and creating a bit of havoc on the blacktop or the track. Okay, is it safe for me to give it a go? I think so. Thanks. <laughs> I just want to taste the surface. Roberts, brother, I didn't know you were involved in all the content for the show. So I'll say to them, this is what we can arrange, yeah. uh, and then they kind of tick off what they really want. We try and do the local stuff as much as possible. I've heard we've got Ken Block in town. Wow. He's an absolute legend, a daredevil of note. That's when you realize how good he is. I mean, that car is super powerful. First Mustang that's all-wheel drive. You know, he could probably just idle that car around you and people would go crazy. we figured out that you're pretty crazy. But you've also come to a very crazy city in a crazy country, so you should fit in here. What, what brings you here? I've done a couple segments for the TV show in the past, so they invited me to come out and do this one. So what can we expect from you today? Some crazy stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we brought out the Mustang, which we call the Hoonicorn. This is actually the first public appearance of that car ever. When you're driving like this, does your adrenaline go through the roof or are you very calm? I kind of have a saying that if you're not scared, you're not going fast enough. That fear and the adrenaline is what puts you on that edge to drive like at the best of your ability. Tips, I need tips from the best. Uh, the right foot, it just needs to go to the floor. And that's it. <laughs> and then you, you break every once in a while, but don't worry about that too much. <laughs> I wish I had your spirit and mentality. Yeah. Shot, brother. Yeah. Respect. Thanks very much. Go kill it out there. I will. I just don't know how he does it. Bro, it's some of the best footage I've ever seen, some of the best drifting. If you want to see it, check out Ken Block on YouTube. Unbelievable. After the break, we have Leanne Liebenberg on the MCC. On the MCC tonight, we have a woman who's been voted South Africa's sexiest woman ever since they invented the award. Leanne Liebenberg. <laughs> <Hello. laughs> and it's taken us th it's taken us three seasons to get you I know, here. I'm here, finally. How is that possible? God, I'm so shy. Like really, like I'm so shy, but I'm oh, here. Stop it, I couldn't stop I couldn't it. avoid I couldn't avoid his calls anymore. He was driving me mad. <laughs> you know what I think it is? She was too busy with those you spectacular awards. I'm organizing them. Yeah. How, no. how many you spectacular sexiest women have you won now? Six. Six. <laughs> Giving no one else a chance. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm retiring. Like, leave me alone. Like, <laughs> the thing is, they can't do that because here's my thing, though. You're a model. Yeah. And people keep voting. So what are you doing right? What is your PR team doing I'm right? I'm paying them well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So who's got more awards, you or Jeannie D? 
I think Genie. Genie? Yeah, hers yeah. is more like over the whole range. I've got, I only do one thing. And sexiest, <laughs> uh, and the best couple, favorite couple, sexiest yeah, couple. I wanted to give it to you guys. Yeah, you, you, you steal that from but us. But you didn't. Well. Like yeah. <laughs> but you didn't. It was there, you're yeah. like, actually, no, I'll <laughs> keep it to myself. I was like pointing and going like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Leanne, let's backtrack to the very yeah. beginning. Okay. When you grew up, were you always the prettiest girl at school? Always. Always. <laughs> 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 no, I was um, I was quite big. I was a very chubby child. No, um, I yeah, don't... I weighed 85 kilos when I was 15. No, what? So, what? Yeah, 85 kilos. So I basically weighed 20 kilos more than I do now, and I was you 15. Just, you just have food or what? Love it. I still yeah. love it. Okay. But now I've just learned to train in between. <laughs> stuffing my face, so it's like... <laughs> okay, so what was and your then, lucky break then? Yeah, no, and then I just entered like a beauty pageant when I started losing all the weight and some other model saw me and she's like, have you got an age? And I went, no. And I was 17, I was in a trick at the time and she said, well, let me take you to my agency and got signed right away and yeah, I shot my first TV ad straight after them, which is very embarrassing. I don't know if you guys remember, there was a Vodacom ad where SMS has just started. So there's this girl running towards her boyfriend and they, they both have braces and they start kissing on the field and they, the and braces get stuck. <laughs> and then obviously we couldn't speak, so we had to SMS for help. And this guy was, it was my first ad, and here's this guy sucking my face. I'm like, and you were 17? Ah. Yeah, 17. What a lucky guy. Wow. Yeah. Lucky what a guy. lucky guy. So, <laughs> so then I had to go back to school, and everyone's like, oh, you're the girl from the TV ads. And I was like, yes. Yeah, you must have, <laughs> that's uh, you must have been the coolest. I was big in Rura for it. Yeah, <laughs> like, huge in Rura for it. So and that's where you that grew point, up in yes, Rura yeah. At that point, your sort of confidence must have just rocketed after that, right? Yeah, and then I did Miss SA when I was 19. Um, and then after that, I, I didn't win. I really wanted to win. I was devastated. And was you like, never entered again? Never. Because okay. I did FHM straight after. They oh, phoned okay. me the next day. They're like, hey, do you want to do a bikini shoot? I'm like, yes. <laughs> and then I um, kind of did like a whole topless shoot. It was very controversial at the time. My dad didn't speak to me for a day. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> now that we're speaking modeling, <laughs> What type of what type of guys did you date? Are the models? Did you go for model guys or? Um. <laughs> <laughs> you had some model boyfriends. Yeah, you had yeah, some model I boyfriends. I, I travelled a lot. Yeah. Um, so I had like a boyfriend in Germany and I went, oh. my husband's gonna kill me. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Is he jealous? <laughs> no, not really. I just never disclosed this. He's never asked. But yeah. Oh, okay. You're in fantastic shape. You said you keep fit by cycling. Yeah. So how did you do in that GNC power challenge? I sucked. Really? <laughs> the pressure. Let's, try Let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> now guys, I've seen a lot of people do this thing, but I've never seen them do it dressed like this. I'm matching the bike. <laughs> With the belt, guys. With the belt. So this should be fun. Three, two, one, go! Come on, Leanne, push it, push it, push it. Give me more, give me more, give me more. No, 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 Leanne, come on! Give it to me, Leanne. You're doing well, you're doing well. Just keep it up. Come on, go! Push, push! Three, two, one, and set. You were slacking me here and there, but I think you did pretty well. With a coach like me, you actually got a podium finish. Yay! 5.0 bronze <laughs> medal in the house. See, I had to let other people win. Leanne, this is a high sense Infinity H6. It's the best phone when it comes to selfies because now it has a famous hand gesture function. So raise your hand, make your fist, now remove and say cheese. Next week on The Man Cave, we have more awesome fast cars and gorgeous guests. We're talking epic adventures and more power challenges. That's The Man Cave, Thursday, 8.30 p.m. only on your favorite, SABC3. But most importantly, we want to say happy birthday to the father of the nation, Utata Kholisasa, Nelson Mandela, this coming 18th of July. Happy birthday, Madiba. What a legend. Oh, dude. Huh? Greatest man ever. High Sense, life reimagined. That's cheeky.